strange times, isn't it, when you think about it politically or indeed news-wise, because who can you truly trust? You know, you look at these particular newspapers, all daily best-selling newspapers, doesn't matter where you are around the world, and you kind of think, okay, they're reporting the news. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I truly did believe everything that I read, you know, whether that be a celebrity interview where they claimed they only ate this thing to stay thin or, you know, they did that thing. And, you know, it's only age, isn't it, that makes you think just a minute what's the true story behind that and of course you know we'll become older wiser and a little bit sharper now that's the problem isn't it with the mainstream media because every media organization wherever you are really has an attachment to some other idea you know their narrative that they wish to push ahead and of course they keep pushing it ahead without you even knowing at the most of the time it's interesting to note over here because when you do study it it's really becoming out of hand and as ever, I'd love to know about this particular story in the comments below. Is it the same in your part of the world? Who do you trust for your breaking news? Apart from me, of course. You know, I like to tell you the news as I find it impartial and the bits that I find and think, yeah, let me share that with you. This is one of those particular stories. You see, over here on Channel 5, which is the fifth channel on the commercial level of our television service in the United Kingdom, they've sort of broken away from how this started, which was very much low rent and now they've decided to seemingly go back to that particular narrative you know in order to make sure that they get some advertising and hopefully some viewers but more recently they've even been showing their own political leanings and it's all because they've made a series of documentaries under the title of naughty tories that are simply aimed at the disgraceful members of the conservative party now, as I've often said, and many people know this about me on the show, I report on politics for various channels around the world, very often at Downing Street, invited to all the big events, and I've interviewed and met every single major player for the last few years on the political landscape. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter who they are, they all have something, you know. There are good MPs, members of parliament, and there are bad. But of course, what's interesting with this particular documentary strand, Naughty Tories, made by the production company Rex, is that it's just focusing on the Tory party. There's no mention of the Labour Party, the Lib Dems, the Green, the Brexit Party. They all have scandals. Do you see what I mean? So by focusing on, say, the disgraced MP and former British Prime Minister John Major and his affair with Edwina Curry, or in fact the celebrated writer and disgraced MP and former Conservative Party chairman Geoffrey Archer, it just signifies to the greater public, oh, by the way, this is the Conservative Party. And if you're thinking of voting next time, don't. It's all hidden away under the guise of entertainment. But is it? Do people buy into that? Well, I would say this, that people do actually believe what they see because it's painted in such a way that it must be true. When you look into these entertainment documentaries, everybody has a side that they want to push over. Many of the pundits, the interviewers, have a left-leaning side. And again, I would say, you know, I like to remain impartial, interview them all. You have your own personal opinion, but I wouldn't possibly share it simply because I then wouldn't become impartial. What I want to know with films and documentaries like this, do they influence you or are you strong enough to make up your own mind? How powerful in this 21st century world is the mainstream media? Do they think they're more powerful than they are? And are documentaries like this not just damaging to that and are documentaries like this not just damaging to that political party, but more importantly, damaging to the families now who had hoped that that particular scandal would have been put to bed and left many years ago? As ever, let me know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.